This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and this is the tech I'm using for January 2018. I know many of you asked me to do this last year, but the thing is, sometimes the gear I'm using actually doesn't change all that often. Uh, number one, I have some pretty nice gear to start with, and number two, I'm actually not rich or anything close to it, so I can't always afford to upgrade my kit all the time. But finally, the first thing that changed, you know, I, a lot of you know that I've been using that 2015 15-inch MacBook Pro, the one with dedicated graphics, fourth generation Intel CPU, and I wouldn't buy the 2016 or the 2017 models because, you know, that flat keyboard with no travel that tends to crap out every time you get a little speck of dust underneath, uh, dongle life, all of those sort of things, the, the touch strip that's a band-aid for not having a touch screen. I just couldn't see spending 2,500 bucks plus, really about $2,800 to replace the model I had. So what did I do? I switched to the Microsoft Surface Book 2. It's also about $2,500 though. There's student discounts, parent discounts, military discounts. You can get 10% off pretty easily on these, but I feel like you're getting so much more for your money here. You get an actual normal, really excellent keyboard. Though some of you know that I'm an artist. I like to paint digitally. This separates into a 15 inch tablet, which is just awesome because bigger is better when you're painting digitally and it's really light. So it's, it, I like the HP Spectre X360 15 inch a lot too, but that's a lot of weight to hold because you can't separate it from the base. You also know I like to game. So when I'm on the road on the go, if I want to relax with a little bit of gaming, it has a GTX 1060 inside. That's good enough to play AAA titles at decent settings, you know, 1080p. So there you have it. To me, it's been a dream machine. And also, I used to take an iPad Pro on the road just so I could draw to relax on the airplane or at night. So now I can do it using this. It might not be as enjoyable to draw on or as good, say, as an iPad Pro or something like the Samsung Notebook 9 Pro with Wacom uh, EMR traditional digitizer inside. But for a pinch when traveling, more than good enough. I've been very happy with it too. And since most applications are in the cloud these days, like Adobe CC or Microsoft Office, whatever, it's pretty much the same experience. You don't have to rebuy it. You just enable your license, activate it, you know, on your new machine. Good to go. So there you have it. Shocking. We'll see what Apple brings. Maybe I'll be back in the future, but for now, I'm loving this Surface Book too. Next, a lot of you ask about this microphone right here. Yes, it's large. We use it because it sounds really good and it's wireless. It's a Sony Bluetooth mic for Sony cameras with a hot shoe on top. So we use a Sony A6300 camera to film what you're looking at right now. Can't show it to you because we're filming this with it. And an 18, if I remember, a 105 F4G lens, which is a power zoom. Power zoom is good for video, so you don't have lurching zooming going on, that sort of thing. So that's what we use. And the table is from Ikea. Like many YouTubers, we use Ikea tables. They're great. They're cheap. They come in any color that suits your set. So there you have it. Next up, for when I am at home and I'm drawing, and I also love it for playing games and for playing movies too, though the Surface Book 2 in tablet mode kind of took over the job here. This is the 12.9 inch iPad Pro. It's got an anti-glare screen protector on it. It's easier for me. It gives a little more tooth when I'm doing painting with Procreate. That's the, the program that I paint in the most with this. So these are the kind of paintings that I do on this. And I can't remember who makes this, but it's really cheap on Amazon. It was like three of them for 22 bucks. So look for the ones made in Japan that are three for $22 if you like the idea of having an anti-glare screen protector on this. And on the back, slick wraps. Gotta have Wonder Woman, right? So they always have great sales. So they're not sponsoring this or anything like that, but I get them when they're having a 40% off sale. And it doesn't add any weight, but it stops me from scratching the back, which is nice, because someday when I'm done with it, I'll be selling it on Craigslist. And a lot of you ask about the pencil too, and you think I have some kind of special pencil. This is just the Apple pencil with a slick wrap on it again, so it looks like a regular pencil. What's this clip over here? This is something I ripped off of a ballpoint pen so that I can actually clip this onto something and not lose it. Next up, for photography, some of you know I'm into photography. I use the first generation, really antique, I suppose now, Sony A7. You know, I'm cool with that. I don't have to have the latest, greatest, and I would love to have a Sony A7R2, but it's massive megapixels and all that kind of thing. Really can't afford it though, so this with some good quality prime lenses, always go for the good lenses. It's gonna make all the difference for your photography. That's how I take a lot of those pretty photos that I put on Instagram and elsewhere.
For phones, no surprise really. We have the iPhone 10 here. It's the white model. I don't really care what color it is, you know. And what's this case on it? I hate to say this, but this is the Best Buy house brand insignia case. They're at $19.99. They're that rubbery TPU stuff, which is great because they absorb impact when they're rubbery. They're cheap. I don't care what happens to it. Eventually it'll turn yellow. I'll buy another one if that happens before I replace this phone next year when the new one happens to come out. I like the iPhone because not just because my family use it and the whole iMessage and everything is easy too, but the iPhone 10, just that face ID alone, I love it. The fact that I just pick it up, it sees me even in the dark and it works. I don't have a beard. I know some of you gents with beards have some problems with face ID, but it's really nice. It's OLED and it's relatively small. I tend to like fablity phones, so I've enjoyed the size. But sometimes it is too small, especially if I'm watching YouTube like I, you're doing right now. And like I like to watch art instruction videos and that sort of thing. So I have my Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Pretty predictable. I like it because it has the S Pen. I can draw when I'm sitting waiting in line somewhere. If I'm waiting to see the dentist and I'm getting nervous, I draw a couple of doodles and I'm feeling all calm and chill again and happy. It's a really nice phone. It's got a big OLED screen. It's fantastic for watching videos on. So. There you have it. There's a lot of nice phones out there besides these two, but I'm lucky. I'm getting to use probably what's considered the best of the best for both of these. Lastly, for gaming, hardcore gaming. I am kind of a hardcore gamer. So a GTX 1060 on the Surface Book 2, well, that's cool when I'm on the road, but I want even more when I'm at home. And, you know, I've reviewed a lot of gaming laptops, and what matters to me in the end, it's come down to, is cooling. I really get tired of listening to the fans whine, having to mollycoddle my CPU cores and use Intel XTU to undervolt and all that sort of thing, just so I don't have to worry about killing the thing before it's time. So what I have here is the MSI Titan Pro, the GT73 VR. Now, what I do with gaming laptops is I wait until there's Christmas sales going on holiday sales and usually you can get hundreds of dollars off at some retailers like Micro Center, sometimes even Best Buy. So I got this one here for about $500 off and this thing has, I've reviewed it, you can watch the review, super massive cooling on the bottom. It is all ventilation and you cannot make this thing run hot. Now I didn't go with the overclockable CPU because I wanted to save some money and the, the Core i7-7700 HQ is fine for me, but I have the GTX 1080 in here and I can play any game I want at max settings. I can even play 4K, several of them. So I just enjoy this. I've had a lot of MSI gaming laptops. They've held up well for me. Yeah. So that's what I use for gaming and for any other heavy lifting computing test because it is very powerful. Lastly, watches. When I'm using my iPhone, you've seen this. this. This is the Apple Watch with LTE, the latest model right here. Enjoying it a lot. I particularly do actually like the LTE. No more, I, I went out of range of my phone and I don't know what's going on anymore because I never even keep the phone in my pocket anymore. This really ties, doesn't tie me down to the phone. That's cool. When I'm using the Note 8, I have the Samsung Gear Fit. The Gear Fit 2 is out. It didn't really add enough for me to upgrade, honestly. I've reviewed the Fit and the Fit 2 both. The Fit 2 is nice and all that, but not enough change for me to switch over. So there you have it. That's the tech I'm using for January 2018. When it changes again or gets interesting, I'll let you all know and do another video. I'm Lisa from Mobile Tech Review. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more cool tech videos. and Thumbs up if you like this vid.